Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 11 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are enjoying the series, definitely check out some of the other videos. And as always, like and comment, let me know how I'm doing, and subscribe for more videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into episode 11 here. We're just taking a look at our coal train. And this line just continues to bug me. Um, I am not the best at balancing lines, as you can see. Um, I tend not to worry about it too much, but we're just, we keep fluctuating between too much steel and too much coal, or too much iron and too much coal. So what I'm going to do is, and I know that there's an easy fix for this, which is centrally locate this cargo platform so that they're both taking the exact same route and then we can just balance them one to one. Uh, that's not the way I did it, so that's not what we're going to do. So let's come in here. I'm just going to make sure the time's running. And we are going to do a little bit of editing here. So let's delete that cross. I'm going to delete that entrance so that I can extend this platform. So let's see if I take it out to... Does that get us up to... What kind of distance does that get us up to? So if we come in here... Yeah, that gets us up to 320. Okay. And I also realized there's no need to have this join back in because the coal is only heading down there. So now if we come into our coal line, we should be able to edit both of these. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to bring these up to 309 because I think that's, yeah, that's the best we can do. And now, hopefully, we can get a little bit more coal going down to uh, that steel processing facility so we can get a little bit more steel produced. Anyway, what are going to be the big focuses for today? Well, one of them is going to be incorporating Stamford. Uh, but before we do that, I want to come up here to Poughkeepsie and... Uh, I realized that I never set up a bus lane here, so this is the only catchment for this Poughkeepsie uh, area. And I think that that's a real missed opportunity, so... Let's come through here. I'm just going to extend this out a little bit so that I can get a, a little bit better circulator going on through here, and I think I'm going to upgrade these with bus lanes. So it's going to destroy a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. Let's see, so we're going to have to come back and edit that one. So now we got some bus lanes through here. Let's uh, let's edit this. We're going to have to put these in manually. Let's see, I'll put that in like right there. drag this out and then let's see if we can make a nice yeah nice connection there and then we can actually downgrade this road I didn't mean to upgrade that but it just uh it just happened and now we can go ahead and put some bus lanes here let's see I'll probably that one catches to about there so I'll probably put one like right here that one doesn't catch anything down here Why don't I put another set right here? And now we'll add our new line. And let's make sure we do this the right way. So let's go down to here and then all the way back up to here. And you can see that we're gonna need waypoints. So let's put some waypoints there. Then I'll put some waypoints there. So after sunset, I wanted to hit this waypoint. And then after 15th, I wanted to hit this waypoint. And now this will be our bus route. And this will be Poughkeepsie, bus to train. And this is going clockwise. So 
So now I'm going to copy that. We'll make a new line. And this will be counterclockwise. And I actually really like that red color. So why don't we go with that? Okay, so it's that one. Um, and now we'll add our stations going the other way. Yep, and we're going to need to use this waypoint here to get these to do what we want them to do. Okay, and now we just need to get a depot somewhere in here to be able to get some vehicles. And this looks like kind of industrial over here. So let's see if I can... Put that in right there and let's get some buses on here. So we'll probably go with maybe two buses for each route. So we'll do counterclockwise and then these will be clockwise. And that will just improve the catchment now of this station. So hopefully we can get a little bit more um, usage on this line. But okay, so back to incorporating Stamford. So Stamford demands fuel. And we have this whole fuel route here, running all the way down here. And the only place it's currently being demanding fuel is New Haven. Um, so it makes perfect sense that we would incorporate Stamford on here. So I think what I'll probably do is it looks like our industrial is like right up here. So if we actually get a 240 meter platform and just kind of put it in right here, we can then curve it into this line and start getting some fuel in here. And this is like already in catchment of almost all of the fuel area, which is really good. So now we just need to branch this in here. Let's see if I can bring it all the way out to this signal. Just go ahead and branch that on there. Uh, those did not need to be electric, so I'll de-electrify all of that. But now I'll probably just put a one-way signal right here for it to merge on. Um, and this is a short, this is a short run right here, so I'll probably only ever have one train on. Okay, so now let's set up a new line. So if we come all the way down here, I want it to go there, and I want it to come all the way back here. Let's make it uh, a bright orange. Does that conflict with anything going on here? Yeah, it does. It already conflicts with this Stamford New London oil fuel. So let's do Maybe a purple. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so they'll load up for the fuel here, and this will be a rail line from New London to Stamford. Fuel. If we come back in here, I want these guys to wait for a full load for, yeah, maybe three minutes and then nothing back at Stamford, so that's okay. And now what is the line right here? This is the, oh yeah, that's the meat drop off. And they're gonna be waiting for a full load for a while. Okay, so I think I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna edit this, uh, this station just a little bit. Let's let that train leave. Okay, and now we're gonna edit this. I'm going to, I'm gonna see if I can fit in another track right here. And then another platform. And now hopefully I can fit in some cargo buildings. Yeah, I can. Maybe I'll put a cargo building there. And now I should be able to branch this 
in here. Yeah. I just can, which is good. That doesn't need to be electric. And now we can use, let's bump this over to platform one. Like that. And now let's get a little road in here just to make this look a little nicer. Just like that. Okay. So now this is in catchment here, obviously. And now this allows both of these trains to wait and not uh, interfere with one another. So now if we come down here, with that being said, now that it has its own almost lost it. Now that it has its own place to wait, I'll probably increase this up to like five minutes to wait for a full load. And now we can go ahead and get a train from here. So let's go with diesel. I'll probably go with one of these uh, EMDs. We'll get some cargo on here. Maybe 108 for now. And let's go ahead and throw this on the Stamford fuel line. Because these EMDs you know, they go 65, um, these cargo, these can go 75, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, we don't yet have a diesel train that can go 75, so we're just going to make do with what we have. Okay, nice. So now that's going to start getting a little bit of fuel delivered in here, and you can see this has great catchment. Um, I think it's going to miss out on, like, these three buildings. That's okay, though. Hopefully this starts to kind of grow around this station and that will allow it to have a little bit better, uh, a little bit better catchment. So Stamford, Stamford also demands food. Um, we could start to incorporate the food right now. I wasn't actually planning on doing that, but now that I think about it, that might not be a bad idea. Although getting it down here could probably drop it here and then truck it down in. That could work. So let's start to do that, actually. Again, wasn't necessarily planning on doing that right now, but I think it will work. So what I think I'll do is I'll probably use this facility here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this road. I'm going to branch this off so that that's the primary movement and then we'll put this road back in I'm gonna take this up I don't think I have any terrain to worry about we'll connect that in there and then they can work their way over to this food facility here so let's see I could add a yeah I think I'll add a rail platform in here so let me just uh Pause this really quick. I'm gonna delete this out. And now let's see if I add a 240 meter platform here. Just trying to get this lined up. I think that's probably going to be as good as we can get it. Shift it back just a little bit so that we can add our pass through. And obviously I made this electric. Didn't mean to do that. Um, we are going to have to edit this a little bit, I think. So let's back this out. Maybe down to there. And now we can connect this up. I'll turn the electric off. And now I wonder if I can connect this in. Yeah, I can. Just barely. And then we'll add our cross in here and now let's get some one-way signals just right there so now that works yeah
Put some signals there. But okay, so now I can let this run. That line functions, and now we have this. So I'll probably come in here with a road just to get this in catchment here. And now we're going to need a truck stop to be able to deliver the grain up here. So why don't we put that in like right here. Put an entrance here. Can't fit a building in there, but I could fit one in over here. Don't really need one. Maybe one more, and then we'll add our exit. And now we can come in here and just connect this up with some roads. Let's see, maybe... Curve this back in, like that, make it look nice. So now that's in catchment here. And now if we come down to this grain facility, we can also build a truck stop. So let's go ahead and put this truck stop in like right here. We'll expand this out. Maybe put a building to buffer it a little bit. Not really necessary, but I think it makes it look a little nicer. And then we'll go ahead and connect these in. And then we'll just come through here, a little bit smaller brush, just smooth this out a little bit. Okay, so let's establish our line here. So first is gonna be this grain delivery and we'll make this uh, maybe a dark yellow. I want them to wait for a full load before they come up here. And this will be Stamford to Poughkeepsie grain. And now the um, food will just be delivered right down here. And let's see, I might just drop it into this platform. I don't know, maybe I'll drop it in the same platform as the logs. Yeah, I'll probably do that. And let's make this like a dark orange color. So I want them to wait for a full load for maybe five minutes before they head down here. And this will be Poughkeepsie. Man, I picked a good name to have to spell all the time. Poughkeepsie. All right, Poughkeepsie to Stamford Food. And now we're going to need a truck stop right here to pick up that food. building on there to buffer it. We'll put our entrance and exit. And now these trucks will come right back here. They'll do an accurate crossing with this uh, rail line. Another one here, and then they'll come into town here. So they're coming down this road. I might have them drop like right here. And then head out. Let's set up that new line. Just like that. Maybe we'll make it like a dark green color. I want these trucks to wait for full load forever before they head in here. And then this is going to be Stamford food. Okay, so now we need to get some vehicles on here. So let's grab a depot. I might throw it out here, out by this stop. Let's get a couple vehicles on here. So cargo, I could use these Peterbilts. So maybe we'll get two of them to deliver the food. And then similarly up here, I'm gonna need another road depot. Throw it in like right here. And I think again, we'll use Peterbilts. So I'll probably get like four to start. And now what I also want to do is upgrade this road so that we get better speeds. Because this has 50 mile an hour 
speed on it, whereas this road only has 37. So to really, you know, get the best out of our Peterbilts, I think that's what we're going to want to do. And now it's going to want me to rebuild this road because it's not liking the... It's not liking that crossing. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So if I pull this out to maybe here... Man, it really doesn't like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna edit this, I'm gonna bump this platform back. Maybe two spaces. So let's get some more track. Just to give me a little bit more room to work. So we'll delete that. And now let's see if we can get our road to curve through here. Yeah, so it just doesn't want to go straight. Which I guess is fair. So now we'll connect that in. Okay, so now that's all connected up, and now we just need to reconnect this track. Let me speed this up to get this train out of the way. Because I just realized these tracks are actually in the station. So I want to delete those out so that I can edit them freely. So now if we connect this track up and this track up, now we can merge this in. And I could probably even fit the cross in on this side too. So what that means is I can get rid of this cross. And then I can actually bump these signals down to right here. Right up against this road. Okay. So now that's all working. And now they'll be able to do what we want. So we've got vehicles on the grain route. We've got vehicles down here delivering the food. So now we just need to get a train onto here. And I think we're using this rail depot all the way down here. So let's go ahead and buy a train. And this is going to be moving food. So we want box cars. Maybe we'll go with six of them. And this is going to go on to Stamford to Poughkeepsie Food. So now if we speed that up and we come down here, Stamford to Poughkeepsie Food has a train on it, which is good. And now this should start producing some grain for these trucks to take. And then that food will be transported down here and then delivered into Stamford. Yeah, I think that's going to work really well and shouldn't be a problem because all of these are drop-offs, so they really shouldn't take very long to actually drop off whatever they're bringing. We should see that train making its way... Yep, right here. Stamford to Poughkeepsie grain or food now this is going to hopefully start to recognize Stamford right off the bat yep okay so that means that this is working we're starting to get some food on that platform I might want one more truck on here because these yeah that one's still just leaving now and this one's gonna head out here. So I think one more truck will be able to do it. Okay, so now we're gonna start to get both goods delivered here into Stamford, which is good. Let's see if I can kinda, yeah, I don't think I can clean that up very much. Um, 
One thing that I could do, though, is upgrade the speeds of the road. So we'll go ahead and do that. So that they can kind of fly right into the right into the city. Okay, so now we're starting to get... Let's see if we got our first fuel delivery up here. This is recognizing Stamford. Is this Stamford fuel? Yeah, it is. So it's taking about a half load of fuel. So not bad. Um, what this is going to mean, though, is that we're going to need to start to supply this with more uh, refined oil. So if we look at this line, I think it's this one. Yeah, this is the one that's picking up the oil. So if we come in here, that's already max length. You can see that this isn't getting enough oil delivered to it, so I think we'll probably clone that vehicle to get another delivery of oil coming up here to just keep this fully stocked, because this wants to upgrade, um, I think. Maybe not. No, not yet. But anyway... I think that this will work really well and we'll start to get some fuel delivered here into Stamford. I don't think Stamford has gotten... Yeah, they got a little bit last time. I don't know where that train ran off to. Maybe it's already on its way back. But regardless, I think that this will work. And I think it's also good that these aren't conflicting with each other anymore. We are getting a ton of meat down here and a ton of food. So why don't we get, let's see, if we come into here, how many trucks do we have on this line? I might get like two more to deliver meat and food. And then if we look at this line, this is the, oh, that's the rail line. So right here, yeah, they're just waiting for whatever's available. So they'll keep Shuttling back and forth, moving this food back. Okay, so I think that's going to work really nicely. Now, another thing that I want to do is I want to set up our first airport to move, I think, passengers. So we're going to set up one up here at Boston, in between Boston and Brockton. These are two huge cities. And I think this is going to be the place where I want to set it up. So I'm going to delete this road out of here. Now let's see if we can get a passenger airport in here. So if I spin this around and kind of tuck this in like right here. Yeah. I think that this will work. So now let's, I'm just gonna smooth this out a little bit. So now we have a passenger airport in here. I'm going to tie it in with some with a with a bus interchange. So let's grab a four lane road. And then I'll branch that into here. I do want this to have bus lanes. And then I'm going to upgrade this to be four lane as well. So now if we come in here, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. This is going to be all four lane with buses. And then this is also going to be four lane with buses. I'll transition back to this. And then we're going to want this to have bus lanes as well. To take people into town. And then similarly down here, I want this to have bus lanes to take people into town as well. And I'll just clean that up a little bit. Okay. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna build a bus interchange right here. So I want two platforms. 
We'll probably just go ahead and put this right here. So let's add in, let's make these a little bit bigger. We'll add our entrance and our exit for our two bus lanes or for our two, our two bus routes. And now we'll connect these up. And then these don't need traffic lights. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take these out of there. This one, I think that's okay if they have traffic lights. But anyway, so now we can set up some bus lanes. So I think I'm just gonna do a simple bus lane that's gonna stop right here and then head up here. So let's make this like a dark blue color. And maybe at Taylor, let's see if we stop there. Yeah, I think that'll work a little bit better. For what we're trying to do, so they'll loop through there. I'm just gonna come through and upgrade this. So they'll loop through this stop and then head up to the airport. And then I'll probably do the same somewhere in here, maybe at this stop. So if we stop here and then go down to the airport, and at the airport I want to use the second stop. Let's make this maybe a green color so I can see what they're doing. Yeah, I don't have them stop like that. So this will be our bus lane from Boston to the, so this will be Boston bus to airport. And then this one will be Brockton bus to airport. Nice, okay. So now let's go ahead and get some buses on there. I'm gonna go with the highest speed buses we have. So these go 50. So let's get maybe two of them on there. Let's see, Boston or Brockton bus to airport, perfect. And then similarly, we'll come up here, I'll grab this and we'll get maybe two onto the Boston airport route. So now if we come in here, these should both have buses. Okay, great. So now it has nowhere to fly. However, I think we're gonna fit an airport in right here. It's gonna be a really long run. Uh, if we come into the terrain, we do have a little kind of hill here. So we're gonna have to figure out what we want to do with this airport. But if we kind of spin it around here and get it up on the hill, maybe like that, Yeah, maybe like right there. And now I'll come through here and I'll just smooth this out. As best as I can. So we'll smooth this out. I'll probably have to level off a pad here for our bus interchange. Now let's go ahead and build a stop up here. So I'll add this in. We do want bus lanes. And now where do we want to tie in? I'm thinking this road is where we want to tie in. So I'm just going to back this out a little bit. And now we'll take this up and connect this in. We're going to have a little terrain to deal with, but that's okay. And now I'm also going to come through and just branch this in. Like that. So it's still connected. And now similarly, I want to take this down and branch this all the way in here at New Haven. Now we have a road here. I'm not going to be able to fit um, you know, the type of road that I want through here. But we do have a little hill here, so I think we can actually get away with a bridge. So if I go ahead and put a bridge through here, 
like that. And maybe we'll change it to, yeah, just a concrete bridge like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and delete these so that I can make it a bit smoother coming down. And then I'm gonna just connect that right into here. We still have a little bit of terrain, so. Just like that, and then we'll smooth this out a little bit. So why don't I just upgrade that really quick, and now I'll pull this one out a little bit more, just to try and smooth that slope out a little bit. And now we'll work our way over here. connect that in like that. And then similarly, we'll just come through here and smooth that out. And now we will get our bus stop in here to interchange. And this is also going to connect um, Stamford and, what is this? New, New Haven. So we want that to be a pretty big stop because I imagine that a lot of people are probably gonna use this. So now we'll connect these up. And this is also going to be a main connection, so I'm gonna leave these lights on here. Uh, people are gonna use this to bounce back and forth. So let's come through here at Stamford now. Kind of connect these up. So I'm just gonna pull this through. I'm gonna connect that. Just getting ready for a circulator because yeah so if i do like a stop here stop here maybe a stop here so let's do one two three and then we'll do the same coming back both directions see if I had a waypoint in up here, if that will help. So after park, go up here. Yeah, that looks good. So this will be a bus route and this will be Stamford. Bus one, I'll just do bus, what is this, counterclockwise? And now if we do the opposite, make it that teal color. This will be Stamford bus clockwise. And now we should be able to tie in with one of these stops here. But let's go ahead and get a depot somewhere in here. Actually, I can pull from, I'll just pull from this depot up here. So we're just gonna get one, probably one bus going in each direction on this one. So one on the counterclockwise and one on the clockwise. And then we'll set up a new line running down here. Now that's not what I want them to do. I don't want them to just turn around in the middle of the street like that. So maybe I'll move this stop to here so that they can walk between them. I'll get rid of that and I'll add this as a stop. And now this will be our bus route and this is Stamford bus to airport. And now let's go ahead and get a fast bus on that. Maybe two for the airport route. 
And now similarly, this already has some public transportation built in. Um, however, we're not quite catching all of this. So I think what we'll do is we'll come through here and edit this a little bit. I'm deleting this out because I just want to, I want to continue this road down here. So we'll take this, pull this probably all the way down here. Like that. And now I think we're going to give this bus lanes now that I think about it. Yep, can't fit them in there, but that's okay. And now I'll run bus lanes down here as well. So that we can run... So that we can set up some bus stops. So we have a stop here. So maybe a stop... Like right here. See, that's catching all of that up there, so maybe a stop right here. Come through here and clean this up a little bit. And now let's get this set up. So we're going to have a stop running running like that. Is there any reason we would have for bringing them all the way up here? Probably not. I do want them to use this road down here. So after hill, come down here. But up here, yeah, honestly, not a huge reason to take this. Um, what I might do, though, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, so this is kind of a mess here, so I'm going to get rid of that. And get rid of that. I'm actually going to loop this into this road right here. So let's see, if I grab this, pull this out... connect that up smooth that out a little bit and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade this road to be four lane with buses and then I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna downgrade these because we don't need them to have bus lanes but so now that's connected so this will be uh, our bus route and this will be New Haven uh, bus one counterclockwise um yeah counterclockwise so now this will be the clockwise we'll make this um that same light orange. And then this one will go opposite. Like that, perfect. And why don't we make these green? Yeah, I like that a little bit more. And now if we come into here, I also just realized that these are not buses, these are trams, so let's change that. Now, if we come in here to our road depot, we can get a couple buses on here. So let's get maybe one bus going in each direction. Like that. And now we need to figure out where we want to interchange um, to get over to the airport. So I think we're probably going to come down to right here. So we'll loop in with this stop right here. So if we add 
a new stop and we take this all the way over to the airport. I want this to stop at the second spot on the airport. And maybe we'll make this like a purple color. Let's see, what if I have them stop? Yeah, so if they stop right there, that's gonna be the route that they use. And I think that that's gonna work really well. So they'll inter interchange here. Um, truthfully, we have three lines intersecting there. So we'll have to see how this functions. We might wanna build an actual bus interchange. So this is gonna be New Haven bus to airport. And now we can go ahead and get some buses on here. So why don't we get maybe three onto that airport line. And now we need to actually establish the plane line. So let's go from Stamford all the way up here to Boston. And these are gonna cross, which infuriates me. I don't know why. I don't know why I hate it when they do this so much, but I really do. Um, and it makes me want to flip this airport around. Which is so ridiculous to do. Yep, I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing that. Uh, it's so unnecessary. But we're gonna do it anyway. So let's put this airport in right here. And now we will come through here. Let's get this set up real quick. Bus lanes, yes. Connect that in. Might as well connect that up. Spin this around, add that back in. And then we'll go ahead and add this in. We will connect this up. We will turn off these traffic lights. Now let's see, where are these buses? So Brockton, bus to airport. Take that away. Send it up here, Boston. Boston to airport, we'll take that away. We'll add that in and we'll have them go to platform two. And then we'll have this airplane go here and now they don't cross and I know it's it's not it's seriously it doesn't change how the things function I just don't like it but anyway so now we've got that all set up so let's uh, just double check these lines now so these all have buses these have buses I know that there's no planes yet Let's just double check these lines. These have buses, perfect, okay. And now we'll change this. So this is our first plane route. And this is Boston to Stamford. And now let's go ahead and get some planes on here. So passenger planes. We got a lot of options here. Um, probably start with something small. So maybe like this Lockheed Super Constellation. It goes 300, uh, only carries 19. De Havilland Comet goes 450. The Boeing 737-100 goes 483. The price difference is really nothing right here. So why don't we get a Boeing on here? Um, and I'm actually gonna color these because I think these look really good when they're colored. And then I'm gonna add one on down here as well so that we have one on either end. So 
So let's see right here. So let's color both of those red. And now these planes will come out of here. We should have a whole bunch of buses coming out of here. Now I wonder if people will want to start to go to the airport. They should. I mean, it's going to be... It's going to be a really fast way to travel. So let's see. It should It'll probably take... Yes, we got one person up here at Boston that wants to go down to the airport. One person at Brockton that wants to go to the airport. Cool. All right, so we're that's starting to get going a little bit. And hopefully we can start to see more people that want to... Uh, you can see these guys are actually going to use this as an interchange. Which kind of is what it is. I'm kind of surprised that these didn't split themselves up a little bit more. But we got a bunch of people that want to go down to the airport... I don't know if they're actually going to fly, but they might. We've got a few people over here that want to take the bus over to the airport as well. But okay, nice. Anyway, guys, I think this is uh, probably going to bring us to the end of this episode. We've uh, we got a lot of stuff done. We have a nice private plane getting out of here. You know, one whole person on it. We got a lot of stuff done, and I don't think we can really start another big project. Um, you know, I think it's just going to take a little bit too long to start another big project. So I'll probably end it here, and then I will see you guys in the next episode. So if you made it this far, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it means a lot, and it's really motivating. Um, if you guys are enjoying the content, please like the video and subscribe. Uh, comment below and let me know things you want me to try out. Um, you know, tips and tricks for uh, how to play the game a little bit better. And I will see you guys in the next ones. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.